you've made it easier to use more. Yeah. It's still got the sound, it's still got the swing, which is obviously kind of the, the for me, the legacy um, units did. I like the natural kind of feel of it. I can see myself getting to grips with it and treating it like, like an instrument. That's super important sometimes to just have something that, um, that gets you started, just wanting to make music, wanting to compose. It's got everything, man. Sleek. And they are amazing. Uh, looks like it's going to revolutionize the way we make music. I think what Akai managed to do is create something that gives you a hands-on control that's actually something that you're going to find yourself using in a day-to-day -day sense. I guess like all of us, you know, in the electronic world, we all miss having the sort of hands-on control of our studios. This is totally standalone. You've got kind of the best of both worlds. I think it's really incredible. But to see the speed of this and the way you can just like touch, just get all the velocity going and stuff and just nudge the claps back. The real-time time stretch thing. That's crazy. Amazing. The fact that it's all in a box and you don't need anything else, no computer, yeah, just no a standalone thing, no. no power, you got five hours just to play around with you. I, I just see myself now, like, I, in my head already I have all my samples and acapellas and whatever, and like I want to put them there now and start doing it. I don't want to look at my computer when I'm producing music sometimes, like, I just want to have these here and start doing what I want to do, like. I'm actually working with Reason, so I was happy about the Wi-Fi. I think, like, just what I mentioned, that you can sample stuff in and take it all out and do it all real-time with no latency. To go out live with this would be amazing. Real-time um, time stretching, yeah, that's hard. Things like the automatic, like, instant sampling of, like, vocal and stuff is going to make it quite... I think it's really useful for us because it's always been a real struggle getting that from anything else, like even just straight into Ableton. So I think it's having the real instant being able to like make vocal chops straight away is going to be really useful for live. The fact that it's standalone, the fact that it has such a good battery life, and the fact that you've got the clip launching and all these types of things built in really lends itself to excelling in a in a live mode, whereas a lot of other units just don't allow you the flexibility to do that having built-in time stretching and also the ability to pitch up and down not only affect the time is going to be invaluable in terms of actually being super creative with the vocals and super creative with with any other elements that you've got and i could just be on the plane and be dealing with it and it's going to help with live shows and stuff the touches are amazing yeah I'm, I'm ready pretty excited about the clip launching mode as well not just be able to play drums on these kind of pads but actually launch whole clips, whole sequences uh, of events, and then being able to actually record them in real time, so be able to arrange on the fly, is exciting for me. and something I've never really seen on MPC before. Ask me, I think it's very interesting for me to see this, uh, try, try this out in my live set. Nowadays, you know, most of the DJs in my scene, like the electronic music scene, it's like they're traveling so much and they barely get time to produce in the studio really. So if you have free time in the hotel or something, you can just sit there with your headphones on and you work on it and you can keep on working on your live set if you want. The, the, the visual feedback and all the rotaries is gonna make a big difference when working with plugins and control mode. It's sick, it's amazing, I, re I really love it. I want it now. <laughs> now, now. <laughs> he wants to walk out with it. Like, I want to walk out with it. Yeah. Yeah.